On October 17th, hundreds of thousands hit the streets of Haiti under the slogan, Occupation is over, long live our new independence. Protesters were demanding the resignation of de facto President Ariel Henry, who they claim is responsible for the crisis facing the country. They also rejected his request for international military assistance to fight criminal gangs. The mobilizations coincided with the 216th anniversary of the assassination of Jean-Jacques Dessalines, the leader of the Haitian Revolution of 1804 and considered the father of the nation. Every year, Haitians mobilize on this day in commemoration of his life and revolutionary contributions to the country. This October 17th, Haitians vowed to continue struggling against any foreign intervention and live up to his legacy. In the capital, Port-au-Prince, thousands marched to the U.S. Embassy to demand an end to the U.S. intervention in Haiti. However, before reaching the embassy, the protesters were repressed by the police with tear gas. Demonstrations were held in the cities such as La Caille, Cap Etienne, and Jeremy as well. They criticized the Henri government for seeking foreign military aid despite being aware that previous military interventions did not solve the country's problems. The people of Haiti see international intervention as an attack on the country's sovereignty and the right to self-determination. The protests against the call for military intervention have been met with brutal violence and repression across the country. Haitian movements have pointed out that the president's move will pave the way for another foreign military occupation of the country. They have added that it would also lead to the criminalization of social movements demanding change in the country. Incidentally, while the protests were happening, the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres called for armed action in Haiti. The US and Mexican governments have also proposed the deployment of a multinational force in Haiti. On Saturday, October 15th, Canadian and United States military aircraft delivered security equipment, including tactical and armored vehicles and other supplies. According to reports from local media, on Saturday, four armored vehicles were received in the capital, Port-au-Prince, and until next Friday, 18 more will be received. People's movements and organizations from across the globe have expressed their solidarity with the Haitian people in their struggle against this attack on sovereignty. Parallel mobilizations were held on October 17th in several cities in the United States to stand in solidarity with the people of Haiti and reject the threat of U.S. military intervention. We're here because the people of Haiti are in the streets as well. And we are here to denounce U.S. UN core group domination of Haiti. So the people of Haiti, they've been in the streets for months now, protesting U.S. policy, U.S. control of our country, keeping Haiti as a pseudo colony. And we're here in solidarity with them. I'm here to say no to the U.S. intervention of Haiti, no to the U.S. and Canada.